We're going to start today's show on a yarn by Sonny Keaton. Sonny Keaton, in case y'all, I'm sure you've seen him on my show here, is a famous bike builder from Texas. Did the Texas Star, the Terminator, and the Flying Floyd Race with the Devil bike recently. Anyway, he's got a CD called Flying Floyd Race with the Devil and other biker stories. There's one story on there that caught my uh, fancy, and I decided to do a little movie on it, which we're doing right now up here in Murphy's, California, Angels Camp. Got some booze fighters, some top batters, and we're going to make a little short uh, DVD on it. But I thought you might like to just check a little bit of it right now. You know, we're going to put some uh, pictures of Sunny stuff up and check out. This is called Outback by the Biker Saloon. I'm Good Time Charlie, and I hope you all enjoy it. Out back at the Biker Saloon. I've heard some stories in the travels I've done. Some were sad and some were fun. Now I kept this one quiet for many a year. I never spoke it to a single ear. I was scared too. You see, for days, even I myself thought I was crazy. There I sat on the edge of my bed the next morning. As all them weird thoughts raced through my head. I swear to you I'm not a buffoon. It's really true. What happened that night behind a biker saloon? I was standing out back taking a leak when I heard voices that almost made me freak. Old and young bikers, there must have been a few. But looking closer, none in my view. It was real dark that night and a little hazy. I wasn't drunk, and I swear I ain't crazy. The first one I heard was an old tramp's voice. You could tell it was aged and raspy from smoking. Then a young one, kind of goofy, sounded like he'd been token. Then another one talked about racing, how fast he ran and the girls he'd been chasing. Yet another... Must have been a big guy, heavier than the others. As I turned my head to check out these guys, something caught me by surprise. Not a person could I see as I scoped out the land. Just a bunch of bikes leaning on their stand. What the heck's going on? It looked like I was alone. Then they started talking again, and it chilled me to the bone. I started listening to all their jiving, and I swear to you, I ain't conniving. I snapped to it then. There weren't no one else around. Them damn bikes were talking each other down. As they kept on talking, things got real heated about their style of riding and how they were treated. The old tramp was raked out and powered by a knuckle, while the Goofy kid was a sportster and gave out a chuckle. The racer was a stroker, spouting hot air. Said the last girl he rode had red hair. Last but not least, the big guy was a dresser. Man, he was a beast. All had something to say that made real sense. Except that goofy kid leaning on the fence. You see, his Kickstand sunk on down because his newbie rider parked him on soft ground. The old knuckle was real stout, and while others laughed at the kid, he helped him out. The racer was fast, but he didn't have much class, while the big guy was trying to lose weight with a few parts of fiberglass. As their bursting got steaming and kind of loud, Another voice butted in to the two-wheel crowd. I was around before all you came to be. It was the old-timer, simply known as J.D. I heard everything you guys had to say, but we all have a right to the piece of the highway. Y'all never saw the guy over there pissing, and the whole time he was a-listening. So let's all get along and enjoy the ride, so our riders can ride us with pride. After he spoke, they all got along. They even got together and sang a song. Most with deep voices, one kind of high. 
I think it was that younger guy. Anyway, you may think I'm pulling your leg, or you may think I'm some kind of loon. But it really happened. Out back of the biker saloon. <laughs>